The Undersea Voyager Project is a nonprofit, and its mission is to discover everything we can about the ocean's current condition and give that information away to the public for free. And we use all kinds of systems, including a submarine that we built, and we teach kids how to pilot the submarine, in fact, to inspire them to get into science and technology. Uh, sea Wolves, on the other hand, is a more of a serious mission. Its mission is to film bad guys, uh, poachers and polluters, and eco-terrorists doing bad things and turning that filming over to law enforcement for prosecution. So we use military tactics for that. So in Undersea Voyager Project, we wear an orange flight suit and everything's all science and pretty. Sea wolves, everything's all camouflaged and dark. Undersea Voyager Project has done so well for being such a tiny little company. Uh, we've, we've had our submarine in many different countries uh, at the invitation of different organizations including Luminox and, and Crystal Time. And it has taken people down in the submarine to see things like coral bleaching and invasive algae and plastic underwater that these reporters who weren't divers would never be able to see in person. And uh, we took 33 of them underwater and because of that millions of people read their news work and also saw them on TV that we never would have been able to get a hold of. So Undersea Voyager Project, that's an example, is to get the media involved with seeing what we do. In 2009, we had our submarine inside of a lake up near Lake Tahoe and it was called Fall and Leaf Lake. And one of our youth ambassadors, she was 13 years old when she was diving with us in the submarine, made a discovery. She discovered a species of life, which was a protist. And a, a protist is a strange thing. You know, you got animals, you got plants, and then you got fungus. Well, a protist is all three. It's an animal, fungus, vegetable. It's all three things. It's a moving creature, microscopic, that us has chloroplasts, so it takes, you know, makes photosynthesis to make sugars, and it's a fungus. It, it, it uses spores to make babies instead of other different types of procreation. So it is a brand new species that she discovered it, and she actually got to work with a scientist through the University of California East Bay to do a paper identifying the species, and she was only 15 when she did that. So. Everybody can be a scientist, no matter what your age, and make a discovery that's valuable. And we've discovered other animals since then, but that was my favorite kid that did it. You can be a scientist at any age. You follow the scientific principle, you're a scientist. You don't have to get a doctorate. It's just a, a real simple book. You follow how to do it. Anybody can be a scientist. The ocean is mankind's future. The ocean must be healthy for us to continue to survive. And the people that learn how to protect the ocean and make money are going to be among the wealthiest in the world. Because the ocean has to keep life sustaining oxygen and weather driving patterns going or we perish. And the ocean is vast. There's huge resources inside the oceans that we can tap into that won't be a negative effect. And some of those are actually our problem in the first place. Whoever figures out how to remove carbon dioxide out of the ocean and sell it as a product will be one of the richest people on the planet because there's too much carbon dioxide in the ocean right now, which is going acidification problems throughout different regions. And it's dissolving away calcium in bones fish with osteoporosis and shellfish that are dissolving away. In California, in San Francisco Bay, we had to close down our oyster fisheries because the animals were dissolving from carbon dioxide being too much, like by carbon and acid. So we need to figure out how to take that CO2 out of the water and compress it into something that's sellable because that's a pollution and it's carbon, like carbon fiber. So there's something there. So somebody who's very smart will figure that out and become one of the richest people in the world. Maybe you too.